Okay, welcome back. And uh, just wanted to do a throwback vid to these custom Ghostbusters. Um, uh, I've had them a, quite a long time. Uh, there's quite a lot of different people involved in making these. Uh, sculpts are made by Rocco on the right, the Ray Stance one. And that also come with the goggles, or the uh, Ecto goggles. And um, yeah, that was, uh, I'll say, sculpted by Rocco. Um, painted by me and uh, yeah I'm going to repaint it soon I think I'm not too happy how it's looking it has got one green eye and one brown eye as does the actor Dan Aykroyd but I don't think it really works and I think it makes it look a bit cockeyed but it's a great sculpt Nonetheless, it's definitely got the uh, look of Dan Aykroyd in that scene from Ghostbusters when he first encounters Slimer. And uh, yeah, I, I love it. It's just got a lot of character. Um, the Peter Venkman sculpt was done by Snyderman. And uh, was painted by Stephen Morris. And he's done a really good job. That's why I was trying to sort of emulate his paint work. But uh, yeah, he is. He is very good. Very lifelike sculpt. And uh, he's done a great job with the painting. Uh, the outfits were made by, and the backpacks, everything you see here was made by Mattel, except for the boots and the bodies have been swapped and the elbow pads are custom made by me. Now uh, I have darkened the clothing down using First of all, like a tea bath and uh, you know, just bathing it in tea and stuff like that to try and darken them up. And then I used, uh, I think, grey dye and just kept, you know, very watered down solution and just kept wringing it out and just to give it that dirty look because they were looking a bit too, you know, new out of the packaging. Yeah. I've weathered up the belts. No, that was a bright white belt here. Um, so I've made the elbow pads. These are the first ones I made, and they come out rather, rather nice. Pretty screen accurate, as far as I can tell. I think the. They did have slightly different uh, armbands. They were, but yeah, he's as close as it needs to be for me. <laughs> and then uh, these ones I made the other night, so they're not exactly, they're not exactly matching, but again, these were made out of green stuff. These ones were made out of super sculpy. So you can see, yeah, some of the paints wore off that one. You can see the green stuff underneath. Um, so you can see my sculpting skill has <laughs> improved somewhat. Or just my techniques have, I don't know. But yeah, these are a lot more form fit into the elbow. And they uh, look more finished. But, you know, they're small details. What I really wanted to focus on is, um, you know, showcasing the, the artists involved. I say Snyderman for Venkman, Rocco for Stance. And just to 
show off the backpacks really and the, the level of detail that's been there put in here. I mean the ones that were made by Blitzway a couple of years ago are pretty good. I've not seen them in hand but I was tempted because the sculpts are good as well especially the stance they're all good actually but um yeah i couldn't justify the price um nearly i think thousand pounds or whatever it was i love the ghostbusters but not that much um but yeah i just wanted to showcase the details and all the stickers and decals i don't know if you can actually see them but they've gone to a lot of detail and the reason I've been inspecting it because I found a sticker and I was like, where's that come from? Because of the age, you know, the glues dry that and bits start falling off the more you handle it. You can see all the labeling. You can read that there. Filler plug and air vent. I've been playing their Ghostbusters, the video game. Um, and I've been enjoying that. And I did go to see uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife recently. That was pretty good. Pretty uh, good job. A lot better than the <laughs> the previous film. We won't go into that territory. But that's a nice uh, look at the two figures there. He's saying there uh, is, you know, he's right in front of me, Ray. <laughs> he's about to get slimed. That's his pose. Yeah, I love these figures. I I'd love to get um, Egon and uh, Winston, but uh, maybe I will. Um, But these two, and I've got the Slimer head knocker, are more than enough to um, give me that Ghostbusters fix. So yeah, just wanted to, let's say, give a close up look at some of the accessories and some of the details on the I mean, Mattel, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was Mattel that done these. They've done a bloody good job. And it also comes with all these attachments. I think the keys I put on separately. But all this stuff, um, I did have to shorten this hose, but it's very easy to do. And um, you've got all this sort of gubbins here. I don't even know what this does, but it looks good. And this if anybody knows what that is, I know I've got my ideas what what what, what it's for, but yeah. If anybody can tell me what that's for they will win a prize. My undying admiration, or I don't know, I might give something away. I won't give away the uh, ending to Ghostbusters. It's a good film. Don't do spoilers. Yeah, I love the ribbon cable there. And so if you can read that, you're better, you've got better eyesight than me. But yeah, it's very well detailed. And also the traps they come with. Let's see if I can show you the trap. Again, it's got more decals on it and just trying to get it so it lies flat.
So obviously it goes that way. Again, more decals, stickers, paint apps are really nice on it. And for a figure that was released, I should have done some research before starting this video. But these figures are, let's have a look, there is a date on this somewhere. 2009. So there you go. So it just goes to show Hot Toys aren't the only Blitzway and all these other companies, you know. Sideshow, take note. And with this added feature, probably won't work now because I've bigged it up. I can actually press the button. Yay! So you can put your candy in there, or you, you know, if you've got a small bit of hash, a bit of weed, you can chuck it in there as a good stash. Yeah. Get more labels. Electronic diagram. Very cool. Does this take a battery? No. Yeah, I thought because it had a screw that it might take a battery and do something, but no, it doesn't. It's just the the uh, back of the backpacks lighting up, which they didn't have to do that, but they went to a lot of detail with these figures. And hats off to them. I mean, the head sculpts they come with weren't great, very cartoonish. So it was kind of like a mixture between the film and the cartoon, the real ghost busters. And the elbow pads were just like felt and very flimsy. And it's weird that they, they've done such a good job with everything else. Even these gloves are the original gloves. The boots were a bit bulky. So I swapped them out for these ones. Uh, where did I use those other boots? I used them recently on something. I uh, can't remember. But they're on another figure now. So that's it really. Just, you know, giving a bit of love to these old figures and a bit of a shout out to Mattel and you know. Hopefully they can uh, go back and if they've got the moulds and stuff with these figures, maybe they can go back and re-release them with you know better head sculpts and stuff. Why not? You know, there's a big market out there for Ghostbusters. I'm sure it would sell well. Yeah, I think these were the Matty Toy Collector version, but as you can see, um, I mean, these are still quite easily obtainable. Um, obviously, these two being the main characters and Winston and uh, Egon being supporting characters not so desirable you can still pick them up pretty uh, easily and pretty cheaply even if you just pick them up for the parts and then just uh you know make new name tags you've got the proton pack it's the same with each one i think the stickers are slightly different and i was putting the sticker on they all pretty much the same but Really small details like um, just just minor little things. You know you have to you have to be searching for. It's just like oh they've they've put the dials on that one slightly different to the ones on that one. But yeah, really cool figures. I'm really happy to have them. Just thought I'd uh, share them and hope you enjoyed looking at them. I say I might repaint this one. That cigarette I made the other day out of a bit of. Uh, wood and burnt the end and painted it I think that came out pretty well that cigarette just hanging there and he's like <laughs> dumbfounded by this disgusting blob so yeah that's it just a quick 15 minute video <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, bye bye